Welcome back. ACGC has come a long way in a very short time. It's crazy to think the co-op between the three schools started just six years ago on the football field. A lot has changed, including the caliber of play on that field, and that has them on the cusp of a little bit of history if they can stay hot. We took on a two-year program that was 1-17, so the expectations weren't high. That didn't stop head coach Cody Matthewson from envisioning what could happen with a little spark at ACGC. I looked over, I said, in, in four years, we're going to go 9-0. Well, here they are. The Chargers in season four under Matthewson are 7-0. There was a doubt in my mind that we weren't going to be where we are. Obviously, we're here. We just, we just got to take advantage of all, all the moments we have. It's been the senior class that's guided them to this point. This is the first senior class that I've had, that I've had through all uh, their whole career. It doesn't hurt when three of the 15 seniors on this team make up the three running backs in the triple option the Chargers run. To have those three, um, you know, to do the things that they're able to do, uh, to carry uh, the ball like they do. Lead back Gavin Cornelison has carried the ball for 1,200 yards and 23 touchdowns. Fellow seniors Charlie Crawford and Caden Jensen both have more than 500 yards rushing on the season, each bringing their own strength. And Gavin's obviously the guy just straight ahead, run people over right up the middle. And I mean, we can too, but we just don't, we don't need to because Gavin's right there for it. I'm kind of slow, so I'll just, <laughs> just go straight and run people over, I guess. Caden's the guy, you get him in the open field and he's the straight ahead and I make the moves. This doesn't work without all three being as dynamic as they are. They make some big time blocks for me. It's not always me just run through, run someone over. They're always taking on the first guy and then I just go off them and they're really helpful. It will be that three-headed attack that ACGC will continue to ride as they get into postseason play next week. What was once thought as crazy is certainly possible as the Chargers try to run all the way to the dome. Everybody's a good team once playoffs start. It doesn't matter. So um, to get a home field advantage in that first round playoff game is going to be huge. Uh, it's going to take all 11 guys both sides of the ball to work together and really buy into everything. It would mean everything for not even just the football team, for the whole community for all Adair, Casey, and Guthrie. One, two, three.